What's up you money makers and Alice Army, welcome back to the channel. Today was Friday, such a massive red day. Nasdaq was down 2.47%, S&P was down 1.63% and Dow Jones was down 1%. However, I wanted to quickly review for all of you Alice Army and Alice family, how Alice is doing, what is WSFT doing, Wikisoft ordinary shares. We had seen such a spike regardless of the red day today and we down at 14% but I wanted to cover how and why WSFT is important with ILS what you should consider when you are looking into ERT and potential um, uplisting on one of the major stock exchange that ILS has been planning for what you should be thinking about uh, Wikisoft when you think about the controlling shares what Wikisoft is all about I am planning to also do more research on Wikisoft what they do in terms of data curation how credible and reliable the company is when they talk about this business decision that they allow using the cloud technology and the platforms that they're using what you should be thinking in terms of the volume what was the volume today for wikisoft and why that is still a bullish signal for ILS shareholders and how it can impact you so all this this kind of very important and juicy information that i'll be sharing in this particular video in return all i ask you is to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and let me know in the comment section below if you like this video uh, help me motivate me so i can share more and more all this kind of information not only for ILS, we have been talking about cybl and many other penny stocks and why this is very important if you take a look at ILS, what we have done is many of my viewers and subscribers they bought ILS around five six seven cents we we have seen the upside of ILS pretty massively one year take a look for last one year it is up 50 percent but for a particular time frame when we started buying and you can check that on my video on my channel as well the videos that i've been consistently posting take a look 10x return on investment now if you sold like me partially part of your shares that you own for ILS, congratulations you make money in stock when you click that small little sell button and you want to write it for free and this is such a great feeling because you're now not worried about where a particular stock goes ups and down in the interim and you can be there in it to win it for the long long run and this is going to be such a great story that we have been I have been per personally have been writing for free and you can also learn that as well now let's talk about what ILS did today so we went close to 11.50 11 and a half cent and we were closed at 11 cent as well 3.45 percent down in today's trading session take a look 10 cents and 12 cents was the range the year-to-date range or last 52 week day, uh, range is 3.9 or almost 4 cents up to 51 cents now now why it is important to also look into wsft is because ILS announced yesterday that ert is emergency response technology incorporation wholly owned subsidiary of ILS. so ILS owns 100 percent of ert that confirmed that it has acquired the controlling block of wikisoft corp wsft now wsft is otcqb which is one more additional flag that they want it is nice to have into the otc business and what wsft did today from yesterday's close 39 cents it went pretty high as you can see let me just take a look right here and you can see that it swung both the sides 27 cents so it went a little bit down and it went up to 55 cents now i know that there is a lot of volume which means a lot of activity is going on as well however this is again a penny stock if you take a look for last one year we are looking at one one and a half cent as the lowest price point and it went as high as two dollars and 44 cents so you want to all keep all this in mind now what is important about this particular stock is we had been seeing a less way less volume take a look 189 510 so almost half a million but the volume was pretty low and we saw after the ILS announcement which was on June 2nd that it spiked 
really, really fast in terms of the volume. Not only that, it was trading around 5 cents on May 25th and it spiked up all the way to 55 cents. So it is 10x once again. So if you keep an eye out, I'm not saying I bought and sold it, but if you keep an eye out, if you keep consistently Keep, keep watching what's going on. Many people, my, in my opinion, they bought it around seven cents because that's how you see four million in volume. So there was definitely people bought and then people sold as well. So it is 5x return just in a day, in matter of day and in matter of five to six trading sessions. You can see that it went from five cents to 55 cents. So 10x gain. And this is what I cater on this channel research analysis and you do your own decision i'm not a financial advisor these videos are not for financial advice or buy or sell stocks rather i share the information that i research on my own hoping you can also make informed financial decision so do your own due diligence and analysis and panic stocks are risky so it's risk versus reward usually i have less than 10 percent of my entire portfolio in the panic stock but it does pay such a great return we have seen for many stocks bngo you can you can think about many stocks and you can search on this channel for one last year we have been talking about many stocks we we got in we got out earned pretty good return and we moved on and this is what we have been doing we have been also talking about many many cryptocurrencies and the fun is you can write for free now take a look on wikisoft we have seen such a great spike we went back down to 27 cents we got back up to 33 cents and closed pretty much around 33 cents down 14 percent now don't forget that it was such a massive red day weeks was up 0.20 28% at the end of the day. Now, re uh, reviewing more on wholly subsidiary company owned by Alice, emergency response technology confirmed that they acquired the controlling block. Now, what that means is, again, you want to remember that it currently owns, Alice currently owns 100% of ERT, which was created as a public safety focus subdivision of ILAS and now acquired the control of fully reporting of QTC OB uh, OTC QB company is of core which is currently trading under WSFT and the CEO also confirmed that they are now taking the seats on the board of director for the company now looking further into this um, news on WSFT Further, basically what they do is they anticipate that it will simultaneously implement necessary changes and take on the growth opportunity. The company believes that the change in focus is going to be very helpful for considering this acquisition and reorganization by ERT uh, will lead the growth for the company and add the shareholder value. In addition to that, the ticker chain will be applied and it will be announced as soon as possible. WSFT will become the proactive on its relevant social media channels, which means they'll be sharing a ton more information. Now, while I do this more research over the weekend, I just also wanted to mention that this is a big data company into the cloud environment and they are going to be, in my understanding, one of the pillar and infrastructure company for what Alice is doing in terms of uh, they'll be sharing more and more data curation uh, in a credible and reliable way and they'll be providing relevant valid information to make informed financial and business decision and their vision and history is collecting precise data curating it verifying it putting it in the hands of professionals and business owners and executives to make sure that the way they present represent the data is consumable for business intelligence and they believe the power of wikisoft is collecting massive amount of data so data mining and anything that you can imagine when it comes to data and i'll be sharing more detail when I get the research done. Now, the good thing about this is it's uh, it, their massive volume is definitely a great thing. They have authorized 200 million shares, whereas outstanding shares are 100 million 883,000 in general, with the market cap of 8.9 million, which is going to be acquired or controlled by ILAS. I'm not 100% sure about how much they bought it for and what is going on, but looking at this OTCQB status, members since 2021, late 2021, looks pretty promising with the verified profile and transfer agent verified as well. Now, looking further into how Alice did, once again, they're about the average volume 
their average volume is 7.2 mil with that they are doing 8.8 .8 in today's trading session on friday which was a pretty big red day looking further into how it was traded all in all so if you take a look once again we are seeing pretty in line in terms of the volume for last five to seven business uh, or trading sessions rather 8.8 .8 million 8.8 .8 million spiked up because there was some announcement coming as you already know it got back down to 8.4 million and was pretty sustained around 8 to 9 million and the stock price pretty was stable all day long looking further into what looks for ILS once again it did go down pretty significantly for last six months last one year take a look it's down 74 75 percent 10 cents can it go back to 20 cents the time will say but look at one month last one month 11 and a half percent which is not really a bad deal given the turbulence that we have seen in the market for last five days we are more or less pretty flat but however up 1.63 percent and last one day in last trading session so today's trading session 3.45 percent down now looking further into uh, um, Wikisoft. Wikisoft was down 14.30%. However, the average volume 569,000 and today's volume 4.8 million, which is once again in line with what we had seen yesterday. So yesterday was 4.06 million and today 4.8 million. But if you take a look at the swing, such a massive swing from 7 cents, it hit almost 55 cents. Massive, massive, massive 5x return. $100 turns into $500 or $1,000 turns into $5,000. This is the game when it comes to penny stock, risk versus reward. Once again, you don't want to invest your entire portfolio, but you want to make informed financial decision. This is not a financial advice, nor I'm a certified professional. So do your own due diligence. Sometimes you make money, but don't make, uh, make a mistake of in investing your entire portfolio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, click the like button. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.